beauties. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. In order of seniority, Farah, Simon, Suzanne, <laughs> Zayed. <laughs> but just look at you girls. How come none of you entered films? I guess um, we weren't inclined towards it. Also, I think Dad uh, insisted that we uh, study first. I guess I, yeah. I, I was never interested. I'm, I'm very camera shy. I don't think we ever, like, had it uh, in us to want to be in movies. But, but Zayed, I mean, growing up with such beautiful feminine women, how did you <laughs> retain your masculinity? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people ask me that question. <laughs> I, I can tell you that, uh, you know, they're very gracious people, they're very you know, elegant, but at the same time, they're very firm, very determined people. I think there's, there's always a little Sanjay Khan somewhere in all he, of them. He's and translated, that means we're dominating. I don't think we've ever dominated him. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I've never dominated him. We've told him we, uh, what we think is right and wrong, and he's made. Simone the has decision. been. Simone has been like the out of the all of them, the strictest but the sweetest. Growing up in a harem, there has to be an overdose of attention to the youngest boy. We loved him. If he ever did anything wrong, we used to get on his case. And you how? Know? And you were the closest <laughs> to him. Yeah, we were sharing a room till about you know twelve or thirteen. So we were like always on each other's case. Not yeah. each other's case. You were on his case. case. You were on his case. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll was she on your case? There was, there was, there was, there was, there was very subtle domination. Okay, I mean, because Susan and me being close, we you were inseparable. A, we are inseparable. I mean, yeah. we, we fight even today. We yeah. fight even all today. The time. We have Susan's domination was all about. Listen, you better change that shirt, or you're not coming out with me. <laughs> I was like, Susan, you can't tell me to change my shirt. Did you ever get spanked by any of them? Uh, by Farah and Simone. By me? When, Zayed? I would love to know. See, see I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something. I don't remember. It was, it was, <laughs> Happily. No. And I think it was a time when I, I didn't do well in a subject that you taught me or something like Simone that. Simone was very sad. Sad. I, I started feeling very sorry for Zayed, I have to tell you. Because apart from you two girls whacking him, mom whacking him. I remember him that a lot. lot. Yeah. But what, about, what about in Mehuna? He was whacked by, by Farah. Farah. Oh, God. All I his life that. he's been whacked. All well, my life I I've guess. been dominated by women. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I got the step wrong, she's, you know, Farah used to actually like come and spank me and she used to kick me like really hard, you know. So now but we know so. where those See? good steps were coming from because oh. finally yeah. the movie he danced pretty well. Tell me out of these girls, was anyone, when you were in trouble, who would you go to? I think it's Farah and Simone. Look at him. Uh, I used to often be troubled with money, all right, because I used to be a kid who was 14, and I used to say, like, okay, now how do I get to date a girl? I have to get at least 400 bucks in my wallet, so how do I do this? Mm -hmm. I used to first go sit with Farah and say, you know, Farah, this has happened, and I, I really need some help. So Farah used to help me out. Then without Simo Farah's knowledge, I used to go to Simone. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't so much the borrowing of the money, yeah. it was like promising to pay back. Which <laughs> never <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. Still waiting, now, yes, now yeah. you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> they yes, yeah. all have been really angelic because they've been so sensitive towards me. I mean, there have been times when, you know, I probably have been embarrassed to go and say, you know, Dad, I want to buy this, you know, suit because, you know, there's a really great occasion. And, you know, they would hear this conversation over and, oh, and they would do it for me. They would, next day I would, I would come back mm. home and Farah would have bought a shirt, Simone would have bought a suit for That's me. That's really Far sweet. Sasan would have bought a tie and they'd be like, no, no, wear this, this is mm. looking nice. And it used to be really expensive stuff and I couldn't afford it. And, you know, I just, it, it broke my heart. I mm. mean, they keep, they, and they still keep doing that. They keep breaking my heart by doing all these things. Why should it break your heart? Because, we because should never just, break your heart. No, I mean, I mean, I feel, I know I feel, what you're saying, I'm touched, but I'm touched, you know. But you're, I mean, you're like, good, the, enjoy doing it, we yeah. will continue to do Zai, it. it's payback time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't <laughs> <know>. and how? <laughs> yeah, but he's he's become generous with his gift. Who knows right? best? Wow, now that's putting me in a very tight spot. <laughs> Who understands you best? <laughs> the truth of the matter is, I share an independent relationship with everyone. I I, I would agree I'm with that. What I say to Farah sometimes, I can't say to Susan, and what I say to Simone sometimes, I can't say to Susan or Farah. I mean, it's, you know, this. So basically, you're trying to say that you don't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? No, Bhavan. <laughs> so, I'm getting my drift. You know, now. now you can yeah, see who's making bullying me out who. to be the outsider. Yeah. Yeah. You're not getting my drift, dude. Yeah. What I'm yeah. trying to say. I am on her I'm side. I'm really upset with no, you. No, she's like, what I, I was coming to her, what I tell Susan, like, sometimes I can't share with her. But fine. you can't tell Susan. It's not fair. He tells me first. He's lying right now to make them feel good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
Suzanne, that's what you think. Yeah. That's what you think. That's what you think. I would say that. See, I, this was this was going down no, dangerous. No, no, no. <laughs> let's let's put it this way. I see Zayed a lot more than either one of them. So I probably get to know from him. But the, the <laughs> next thing he does. No, no, the <laughs> next thing he does. No, the next thing he does. He I calls him up. <laughs> he calls Suzanne up and he tells her, but. <laughs> No, no, what I tell yeah. Simone, you what, I, what, tell I, what, what I, I possibly couldn't tell anybody because that's I, I a very... So you're, you mean the stuff you keep away from Suzanne? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's complicated, what Zad, can I say? would you say I'm somewhere in between? I mean... Babes, you all are somebody who are right <laughs> yeah. up there for me, all right? My poor child, I feel so between. sorry for you, See, baby. Now you know what it was like I'm growing up, <laughs> all right? It, totally was, it, was, it was great. He's defending yeah. himself. He shouldn't defend himself. You should just. Yeah. You're making him defend himself. <laughs> See, I don't need to defend myself with with with, with three of them around. Yeah, no, oh. he's, they're, they're just amazing. He knows, they, he they knows do that around. he's just. We don't mean it. We're just having fun. But you know something, Zayed? I have to be honest with you. I really have a dip, different impression of you today. I thought that you know you were the spoiled, pampered brat, but it's not true. He's had a tough life. You've had oh, yes. <laughs> had a, a had very a tough, tough one. No, no, yeah. I won't trade this life of mine uh, and the situation I'm in with three of these gorgeous people around me at all points in time for anything. I, I'll just tell you that. Suzanne's giving you a look. No, I love, <laughs> I, I love all of them so much. I, I love all Growing of them. Growing up uh, as children of a, mo of a movie star, were you aware of the ups and downs of Bollywood. So we were not very exposed to film parties and no, events weren't. at all. The topic of conversation was never films. It was all about what you want to be when you grow up, about mm. education. Uh, I remember my father, mm. my mother, just uh, repeatedly giving us value education. Uh, they made me travel to school, uh, to college for four years by the BST because my dad wanted me to sit next yeah. to someone we all who did, didn't yeah. have it all. That's yeah. something that was put into us from childhood. Did you have a lot of money to spend? Not no, really, no, not really. Not really. We were not Pocket really money given once yeah. a month. 40 mm. rupees a week, I remember, mm. at one point. Now you all are married. All of you have careers. Interior designer, jewelry, textiles. You have your children. With so much uh, happening in your own lives, have you, like, ripped it apart? No. no. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> How can we ripped no, apart? No, no. We're, so, we're, we're, like, inseparable. Yeah. And we're so close, even geographically, yeah, that we can't, uh, we, even if we don't want to see each other, we see we each other. Each yeah. other. <laughs> even the rooms in a house, they're still called Simone Baby's room, yeah. Father uh, Baby's room, yes, yes, Susan yes, Baby's yes. room. How many times a day do you talk to each other then? I would say, yeah, like once, twice. Say once uh, yeah. we talk about the day, we talk about what uh, advice we yeah. give each other, we yeah. meet for lunch. What to wear for yeah. what function. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Because it's not because we, we, we have to. It's just that we yeah. need to. We need yeah. to. You know? Yeah. We it's go out like so glamorous. often together as a family with all the son-in-laws and uh, the yeah. spouses. And we do that quite often. We go to a restaurant and we are eating there till like 3 or 4 in the morning. Every yeah. month, yeah, but religiously. But I, can't, I can't imagine my life without all of them. When friends. four of us get together, we, we, don't, are, miss anyone. we don't miss anyone. Like, I think the best thing uh, that the parents gave you, they've given you a wonderful upbringing, but the best thing that your parents have ever given you is each other. I yeah. completely I agree. agree. I agree. Tell me, um, who did you confide in first about Malaika? I think it was Farah. Farah and my mom. mom yeah. Yeah. Uh, did any of you think that his love would last so long? Dad, yeah, my yeah. parents have had a love marriage, yeah. mm. and all of us have had love marriages. That's right. So somewhere there was a hope that it would work. And yeah. uh, when we saw Malaika, we just fell in love with her. You know? We all oh, do. Wow. I'm looking forward to meeting Malaika. Thank you. I want to thank you girls for sajowing my set so beautifully today with your presence. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so thank much you for so having us. Love to be here. here. Thank you. Mrs. Malaika Zayed Khan. <laughs> <laughs> On the 15th of August 1995, at Kodi Canal International School at 11:34 a.m., <laughs> some magic took place. Oh yeah, it was it was my Yash Chopra movie. <laughs> it was literally uh, it was where I spotted Malaika for the first time. And you flipped. And, and I actually I had fallen in love uh, with an image in my mind. I managed to set my eyes on something I couldn't lay my eyes off from. And did you uh, also flip? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, mm. See, there, there, there's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't know him. I, I only later him. found out about him that he was in love with me much later through a friend. Mm -hmm. And then I approached him. Well, why did you approach him? Because his friend said, you must, you must, this boy loves you. And I said, but I don't know him. <laughs> it's, like, it's okay, you will know him one day. And he told me that, listen, I told Mali to say hi to you. And she could say hi. And every day I was waiting for that hi. All right. And then one day I was entering into a class. Mm -hmm. She was coming out of it. And, you know, I saw her. And whenever I used to see her, I used to go weak-kneed, you know. And I'm looking at her, I'm looking at her, and she just says, hi. And, and he I says nothing. I, I, I didn't, because, you know, I, I didn't think that she was saying it to me, you know, and I didn't want to be in an embarrassing... Yeah, so I looked behind, was there anybody? And I passed her without saying hi. And every step that I took from there on into my class, I was hitting myself <laughs> on my head. I was just like, sigh. She said, hi to you, man. Like, you didn't even respond, dude, you know? And uh, I was in the class, and, and suddenly this girl comes and says, excuse me, there's a phone call for Zayed. It's his father on the line. So I just excuse myself, come down, and I literally, I'm not joking, I picked up a flower at that point, and I said, this it, that's it. I'm just going to do, does she love me? Does she not? And let's see where that goes. And I'm taking that flower, and I'm doing that, and I'm walking into this corridor, and from behind, I hear a voice that says, in the same way, hi. It and I look, you. and I, I was quite like pleased to see her, and I said, hi. <laughs> <laughs> <Finally>. <laughs> and I said, listen, I'll just be back. I've got a phone call of my dad's to get. And she's like, no, it's me. I was the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> you rang. So That's cool. That was so cool, man. She just had me, you know. She had me that with that is line. Yeah. Amazing. And that's how we started talking. But uh, when did you start having feelings for him? I think it was only after he graduated and I was in Kodai by myself. That's when I started missing him and I was like, oh, I do love him. How old were you? I was, I was 15. It must have been 17. 17. Yeah. How do you know it's not a school crush? Well, you don't. No. But I just think that there's a certain chemistry that you cannot avoid. So I want to ask you the same question I asked your father. When you're a teenager, how do you have the wisdom to know who is the right partner for you? I don't think you do. I think love manages to uh, do strange things to you. That, of course, Malaika, uh, she was a very pretty girl. And to be honest with you, you know, as you go into the relationship, yeah. you can only tell somebody you're so beautiful for so long. That's right. After that, something else has to take yes. over. And that something else took over and how. <laughs> yeah. I think it's destiny. I think it was meant to be. And that's why it is today. So I, uh, did you date other girls? Yes, I did. Quite a few, actually. <laughs> Before or <laughs> during after? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> when I was 17, I used to have quite a few girlfriends. I used, I used to be quite involved in... I mean, that was the only thing on my mind, really. <laughs> <laughs> like a good 17-year-old. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. And did you date other boys? Um, friendly dates, not serious. Mm. It was just... Um, Hanging out. You know, infatuation. Probably. Yes. And was he as possessive and jealous as... Oh, yeah. I was... I was I, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely possessive. You know, Mali took a little time to get interested in me. Sure. You know, so... Uh, and she was a girl. I mean, she likes, you know, good-looking guys, whatever. But she didn't know what I was going through at that point in time. And there was one particular time we were at the basketball court, and I was trying to talk to her, but I realized that she was disinterested in my conversation. And she was just looking elsewhere. You know, she had an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I saw her looking at him, and I was just like, "No way, man! This can't be happening to me." Mm -hmm. And I just, I just remember, I just ran from there. I just went away. I just went to my room, and mm. I was just like completely depressed for four days. Yeah. Did you ever fight and break up and get back or anything like that, or was it just? Uh, um, oh yeah, plenty of plenty we of We fight. <laughs> We fight like cats and dogs. I think for one or two days we might not see each other because of yeah. that. But the third day it just becomes impossible. And she's, she's, generally she's the one who makes up. Yeah, I'm a pacifier. <laughs> uh, you didn't don't say know. sorry? I, I, you know, I have a problem with that. And I don't <gasps> know. I, it's not that I don't feel guilty about myself. I'm wrong. Did you never say sorry? <sighs> Probably, yeah. Somewhere along the line I just, I just feel I shouldn't say sorry. And Ego. I, 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 just <laughs> I think all men have it. Of course. I mean, I immediately become like a puppy dog once she just comes and says, you know, okay, listen, forget about it. 
Okay, let's forget that we ever had a fight like that. Because he's yeah. been miserable himself. And dying for you to make up. Exactly. I'm you know, <laughs> dying for her to make that move. And, Couldn't wait. And, and then she, the minute she makes it, I'm just all over it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, forget it. Let's go out. Let's go have a good time. Okay. Yeah. You come from a family which is completely yes. outside Bollywood. Yes. Isn't it? Completely. You, you're a Gujarati? I'm half Gujarati, half English. My mother's English. Okay. My father's Gujarati. They used to live early in South Africa. Okay. He's a, he was into diamonds. Do you like Zayed on the screen? Um, yes. I think sometimes he looks better on screen than off screen. Oh. Zayed? He is very <laughs> handsome on screen. <laughs> very dishy. Jesus. Zayed says that when he's acting a love scene, he imagines his co-star is Malaika. I told him not to do that. <laughs> you know, that can, it, it's flattering, yeah. but it can be scary. Scary, too. seriously, that makes me scary. You know, our, our, our profession is, you do, you do walk on a thin red line. But you can get carried away with her, come on, side thinking it's yeah. Malaika. You, you have to give it your, your best shot. Probably. For me, when I'm there, I, I actually believe at that moment that I'm in love with this girl. For it me makes to, it comfortable to, for him. To kind make of him, but it may make him too comfortable. <laughs> All right, you're looking at the flip side. I'm looking at that side. I'm looking at Malaika's well, side. I have my danda right behind me. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. What do you do? She just knows how to emotionally uh, take care of me when I do something wrong that hurts her. What do you do? I think I, I use the silent treatment. That works. She disconnects me. And he doesn't like it at all. And, you know, like if I come and say hello. No she, answer? No answer. Sometimes I would like to hear a sorry. Say so. sorry. <laughs> He's always sorry, sorry. Baba. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he said sorry on international TV. <laughs> what more do you want? No more sorry. I promise to never to do it again. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> never to do what again? Uh, whatever. Say it is the that, sorry. Whatever it is that that's that's upsetting her. Uh, but I, what kind of things do upset you? When I don't tell her what time I'm coming back. Yeah, home. that that really upsets me. Uh, he goes off and. When I don't pick up phone, phone calls. Phone calls. No. Zayat says, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. <laughs> That's what Zayat says. And then I, I say, forget no. it. Then turn on the silent treatment. <laughs> and pass. Uh, that's terrible. I can't take that. <laughs> that she, she can do anything. I mean, she, she doesn't want... If she shouts at me, I don't mind. If she tells, she tells me off, I don't mind. But when she gives me the silent treatment, man, that's the worst thing possible because that can take days. I'm that's the danda she's yeah. got. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. it. Tell me something, was it always understood that you both are going to get married or did you propose? Zayat's no. proposed like four times to me. I have like four rings from Zayat. And then ten years later, at the age of 25, like your dad, you both got married. Is Zayed complicated? Can I say yes? <laughs> <laughs> say that loud, that's all right. <laughs> yes, he is. In what way? Um, the thing that really gets me on the edge is, even though he is wrong, he's never willing to accept the fact that he's wrong. He will fight till you get fed up of saying, you know, Zayed, okay, fine, you win the game, you know. He's not willing to budge. Mm. I wanted my way or the highway. Mm. But he's a lovely person and I'm willing to take his complications. There's nothing. He makes life very happy for me. He makes me very happy. Mm. That's and I'm willing to take everything else. That doesn't matter. If he may be stubborn and rigid, he's also extremely emotional, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's very sensitive. He never forgets. Oh. He never forgets. He remembers everything. He's willing to forgive the world, but he won't forget. Yeah. Years later, he'll be like, well, do you remember that time? And, you know, and he'll be like, God, I don't even remember this yeah. happened, you know. But he does. You know, he Conveniently. Does. Yeah. No, but I saw a very emotional side of him when we were New Year's uh, together in, in Bangalore. Uh -huh. I remember you weren't well or something yeah. happened. This man went berserk. No, oh, he doesn't know what to do when I'm He was crying. Yeah. He gets so emotional. But I think he loves me, to me, that's all. Loves you a yeah. lot. You know something, Malaika, it's a big responsibility. It's a burden too sometimes when you're that loved by somebody because you have the power over him to hurt him. No, I wouldn't do that. I love him too. Good. 
I'm too getting... much to do that to yeah. hurt him. I always try never to hurt him. But I want to ask you both another question. Can loving be equal? Yes. Of course. Can you love each other the same degree? Yeah. You know, we always have an argument of that. You know, like, yeah, Mommy, I love always... you more. Yeah. And she's like, no, no. way. I, I love, love you, you more. much more. And it just goes on. And... That's what I love about this the new age guy. He expresses yeah. what he feels. He'll hug, even with yeah. his mom. I mean, I don't see a lot of sons do that. No. But with his mom, he's so affectionate with her. The guys yeah. often marry girls a bit like their mother. Is uh, Malaika a bit like Zareen? You're quite spot on. Yeah. Um, the funniest is she smells uh, very much like home to me. Every time I smell Malaika, I can, I can literally go off to sleep and feel that nothing can ever touch me. Nothing can come close to me. Tell me, uh, you're not doing anything, no career at the moment? No. I was planning, in fact, Simi, at some point to get into animal welfare. Ah, oh, wonderful. Oh. Yeah. No wonder he keeps saying I'm like a puppy dog with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I helped you there. <laughs> what if you hadn't met 10 years ago and you'd met just now? How would you have felt for each other? It would be hard. Yeah. I don't know. Um, How would you have reacted to him? There will be a connection. I don't know. I don't know. Probably just said, hi, Malaika, nice to meet you, that's it. And the magic wouldn't have been there, maybe? Maybe not. One thing that made this special is that we've seen each other as kids. Yeah. 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 Well, you have brought your love safely down from the last 10 years to here. And you have a lifetime ahead of loving and living and I just want you to make it the best. We'll certainly yes. give it our best. Okay. Thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.